Hello Scorpio, this is going to be your love reading for the rest of the month. This is going to be from the 16th through the 30th for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Of course, this can be for um, tropical astrology. And if you are a Western astrology Scorpio, happy birthday during this time. This also can be for sidereal 13 signs astrology. So if you are interested in getting a 13 signs astrology reading done with me you can check that out in the description box below okay so your mutual energy between you and your person scorpio is gemini that's the lovers for me obviously in this deck it looks like the lovers and we have lilith's very sexual energy and i've been getting that for a while for you guys okay scorpio so there is definitely someone you have a very strong sexual connection with I feel like there is love between the two of you, but the relationship isn't as solid as you would like it to be. Um, just with Lilith here, yeah, we have Hygieia in reverse. So I feel like someone may have recently came back into your life or you may have recently connected, re reconnected with somebody. Um, if not, that feels like it's going to be happening soon if you've been in like a hermit mode with somebody. Um, you haven't been talking to them. I feel like you guys are going to start communicating again, especially with the third house at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> so let's see. What is going on for Scorpio's person? Let's see. We have the six of cups. That's literally sun and Scorpio. So you could be done with another Scorpio. But mainly I see this person reminiscing about the good times between the two of you, the fun you had, the laughs you had, how like copacetic everything was at one point. Everything flowed together very well at one point between the two of you. Um, yeah, we have the Ace of Swords here. This person definitely feels like they have something to say. So again, if you haven't communicated with somebody, they will be reaching out to you very soon. Let me move the cards so you guys can see them. There we go. You're the first reading of the morning, so um, yeah, this person feels like they have something to say. They've been doing a lot of thinking. This is somebody who like thought back about the past and how like how good things were between the two of you, especially with the Six of Cups being the card of pleasure. So nostalgia and pleasure definitely takes um, is a factor here, and it's like they're like, you know what? I feel like what we had is worth trying to salvage, you know. What we had is worth trying to reach out and reconnect with Scorpio, even if it's like on a friendship level with the Six of Cups. I do feel like this is somebody who probably has money or they're pretty stable for the most part. Um, uh, it could be someone who's trying to get a divorce. I'm not really getting that automatically, but with the Lover's card, it could talk about there being a third party. So there could be this energy of like, this person thinking back to the past and like they might be in a marriage or another relationship right now and they're like you know what this what I have right now isn't worth losing Scorpio over or you know not reconnecting with Scorpio because this definitely feels like reconnection okay let's see what your energy is towards them What is Scorpio's energy towards their person this, the rest of the month, please? What is Scorpio's energy towards their person the rest of the month, please? What is Scorpio's energy towards their person for the rest of the month? Three. We have the Nine of Cups. Okay. So your energy is the Nine of Cups. I was getting that for another sign. I can't remember who it is. I think it might have been Taurus. We have the King of Wands. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, you guys are um, in a very strong self-mode energy. If you're dealing with a fire sign, I think you're just as interested in them as they are in you, okay? That's just specifically, I would say, for fire signs or maybe Capricorn. Again, it could be another Scorpio. The King of Wands also is a Scorpio card for me. So, um, I think you guys want this too, Scorpio. Nine of Cups and the King of Wands. I'm not saying that you're desperate for this person. I do. I will say that there's a lot of self-love going on here with the Nine of Cups. But I think you are interested in trying again with this person. Okay? A lot of times people are in the comments and they're saying, you know, I don't want anything to do with this person. I, You know, that's fine. But, I mean, these this Scorpio I'm reading for, you know, you guys... The ones that this is going to resonate for, there you you may have strong a strong connection with 
a fire sign specifically leo is jumping out at me but it can be any fire sign or an earth sign specifically virgo is popping up a lot in capricorn aquarius okay so you know gemini yeah so i feel like you are open to reconnecting with this person I mean, I do feel like, like I said, you guys aren't in a desperate energy. With the Nine of Cups and the King of Wands, you're in a very self-fulfilled energy. You look good. You've got a lot of people interested in you. Um, you're doing pretty fine for yourself, but I do feel like you are interested in seeing where this can go. You have the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you're receptive towards the, communi the communication you're receiving from this person. Okay? Um, even if it's just for a good time and not a long time, which is a Scorpio quote, aka Drake. So even if you feel like this is someone that you just kind of want to reconnect with, see how things go, that's the energy you're in. You're not like set on a like a, a particular ending between the two of you, but you do want the reconnection. You do want communication to start back up between the two of you. I think that you are also very sexually interested in this person as well with the King of Wands and the Nine of Cups here. Um, you know, so I do see someone coming back around. I see you guys being receptive. Um, I do feel like you are feeling yourself, Scorpio. You're in your power. So if this person may, you know, maybe if this person caused some issues with you in the past, I don't really feel like they're going to be able to do that. I don't feel like this relationship was super toxic in the past, though. If you feel like it was super toxic, then, of course, you don't have to repeat that cycle. You're in a very strong energy of self-love. So, you know, if someone's trying to repeat a toxic cycle, I feel like your boundaries are strong enough to repel that. But this feels like someone that you have good memories with, you have love for, um, you're very turned on by, you're very passionate about. So, um I, I like this for you, Scorpio. I, I think it's nice if you guys are just willing to see where things go and reconnect with an old flame or an old friend for some of you, but this feels like more than friends. I'm just saying. All right, so we are going to go ahead and move into the extended. We're going to look at the outcome for you and this person for November. We're going to see what this reconnection, because it doesn't feel like a reconciliation. It doesn't feel like a fallout, but it could be, but we're going to see what this reconnection is with this old flame, this old lover, this... Well, it's not even old because I still feel like you kept the flame on for this person and vice versa. But we're going to see what this reconnection is going to amount to. We're also going to clarify these cards up here. And I have some oracles that I'm going to pull for you guys as well. All right. So I'll see you in the extended Scorpio. Make sure you like the video, share. You can also check out your 18 plus reading on Patreon. That is already done for you. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.